The opioid epidemic is a huge problem here in the U.S. and getting worse every day. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Ken's 5 reporter Jeremy Baker shows us why prescribed opioids can be especially dangerous if instructions aren't followed correctly. Whenever you get a prescription, the instructions of how much to take and how often are right on the bottle. But when it comes to taking too many opioids or another drug that could interact poorly, the results could be deadly. That's where naloxone or Narcan can be a lifesaver. This is a great time to have naloxone on board. And you never know when overdose can occur. Sometimes it happens accidentally and you don't know as, as the patient or the consumer. Dwayne Davidson is a clinical pharmacy practice manager with University Health. He says going to multiple doctors raises the chance of an accidental overdose. You may go to one doctor for one condition that's treated for pain. You go to a different doctor or maybe you have a, a surgery. So you have a, a second something. And sometimes when we combine all these things together, that really increases that potential for overdose. According to the CDC in 2020, an average of 44 people died each day in the U.S. from overdoses on prescription opioids. That's more than 16,000 deaths that year and close to 18% of all opioid overdose deaths. Recognizing the symptoms of an overdose can mean the difference between life and death. Classic symptoms of opioid overdose, when you come across them, they're probably going to be unconscious. They may be having trouble breathing, may be really hard to arouse. That's where naloxone or Narcan comes in to reverse the overdose. It's administered one of two ways. It can be injected into the large muscle group in the leg or as a nasal spray in both nostrils. Spray it in one nostril and then spray it in the other nostril and it blocks because it's right here close to your brain. It works pretty quickly and it's really easy to administer. Davidson also says if you are taking any kind of pain medication and you could be prescribed another to make sure you talk to your doctor to make sure it would be safe first and if you'd be a candidate for Narcan. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5.